Hi, my name is Merlin and I work at Ardman Animations. We make animated films like Morph and Wallace and Gromit and Shaun the Sheep. And I would love to help you make some animation at home. And so we're going to go through what's involved and get you animating because it's great fun. OK, so here's the big question. What is animation? Well, animation is where we take something like a simple peg that doesn't normally move around on its own in real life. In animation, we could make it move all over the place. We could make it have a voice, become a character. <laughs> this is Morph. It takes a long time to make a Morph film. But when you're learning to animate, it's best to start with a really simple, short idea. In order to make an animated film, we need to have an idea. We need to have an idea of what we're going to do, what we're going to animate. So I use a piece of paper to plan out what I'm going to do. But before I start planning, I actually need to find the idea. And an idea can come from anywhere. You could be inspired by a storybook, your favourite toy, or even something that happened to you. So I always think about something that happened to me. And this morning, I opened a cupboard and a load of dust came out. And I got a very itchy nose. And I sneezed. And I thought that might make something a really funny idea. So I want to make an idea about a sneeze. Say we take our peg. I'm going to bring the peg. Let's draw my peg. He's got a hole in the middle. You know what? Actually, I don't think a peg's a good idea. So I'm going to get rid of the peg. I'm going to scribble the peg out. And changing your mind is absolutely fine. In fact, changing your mind is really great because you have really good ideas when you change your mind. And, and something that's really important at this stage to think about is the screen, which we're going to see on a screen is a, is a shape and it's a rectangle that's kind of about that kind of shape. Your animation would happen inside of that. So I want a little guy. I'm going to draw him as a square at the moment and I want a bigger guy. Now I want, I want to do something a bit different with this, so I'm going to draw another shape to plan out my animation. And if the little character sneezes, a really big sneeze, it might be such a powerful sneeze that it fires the big guy clean out of the shot. I think that'd be really funny. So, and I want the big guy to walk in very slowly. And rather than sort of draw it all in, I'm just going to put an arrow, because that tells me that the big guy has come in. And then I'm going to draw another rectangle. So big guy is still going to be there and little guy is going to tip back and go hachu. Now rather than draw all that through I'm just going to write achu. And then the final action, and I'm going to need another piece of paper for this, is that the sneeze, so I'm going to draw my screen, is that after the achu, big guy goes out Oh, I've made a mistake there. Don't worry, start again. So big guy is going to get blasted out. So I'm going to draw an arrow because that's where he goes. And little guy is still going at you like that. And, and that, I hope, will be hilariously funny. So I've been getting my idea ready for animation. And this process of drawing the screen and drawing the general action, uh, we call it storyboarding. And it's a really valuable way of planning out what's going to happen in your animation. So this is just the beginning. Next, we're going to look at where the film actually takes place, which, for me, is on this tabletop. And we're going to look at what is going to be behind the characters and what they're going to actually touch and do. And remember, it doesn't matter how old you are, anyone can have a go at animation. So there's no excuses. Get animating. Yeah.